Well, yes. Stewie found that strange picture from the playground and he and Penny told me about the situation. And now news has spread it across the school. And not to mention, witnesses saw a kid with a helmet named Jeffy was attacked by a being with no body or skin, but clothes, eyes and hair in which it made Jeffy go missing, much to Marvin's horror. We were told by Dakota and two girls and got some comments by Bayou, Peppa, and the three legendary babysitters Darlene, Yasmin, and Bordeaux. And on top of that, it even encountered Dora according to the picture. Well, the good news is that I talked with her mom on the phone, and she told me Dora is home and safe. That's a relief. But only Jeffy is missing. Now everyone in here school is worried. Especially me. I don't want that thing to hurt any of my contestants. Don't worry, Baldy. We will patrol outside the school hall, because witnesses claim that weird thing lingers and creeps around the outdoors of the school hall. You worry about your show. And I'd advise you to keep your students indoors until your show is over for today, where we will watch the students exit unharmed. Understood. I'll go ahead and get back to it then. I'll patrol around here. You be on the lookout for the other side. I'm on the security guard unit 20. We'll let each other know if we see anything suspicious. Welcome back to my show. Last time, Peppa got eliminated. And then I had my contestants find two missing notebooks I hid around the school. And it was Charlie and Johnny who found them. Making the Griff and Griefers and Smooth Movers win. Which means the Kitty Kaboomers are up for elimination. But during the challenge, Stewie found a picture of Dora's encounter with an odd creature. Which we were told it possibly captured Jeffy, who tried to rejoin. It was witnessed by Dakota, Tiffany, Peppa and her dad, Caillou, the babysitters, and most importantly, Marvin. So, the FLPD are patrolling here for protection. Oh, and one of the recommended characters is joining today. But first... The elimination, then we'll find out who's joining and who'll win the game, as you are watching. Baldi's character elimination. Wait, I think I forgot to mention someone. That woman in a gray school uniform with a blue skirt. Wasn't she the one who took the picture and left it in my school? Who was she? Alright Kitty Kaboomers, you lost last time, so it's up to the other teams to choose who to vote to be eliminated. Now, let the voting begin. Aw oh, man, I'm scared. Well, since Kira's a team leader, then our team will have the advantage as she is gone. Um, but that also gives an advantage to the smooth movers, plus she's my friend. If there's a bigger threat, then I say Leo. He's gotten serious ever since Caillou left. Of course I got serious. I'm doing this for my friend Caillou. Well, for someone like me, I do like a good challenge Kara and Leo have come up with. If someone hasn't gotten too serious, I'd say Bobby. That's one vote Kara, one vote Leo, one vote Bobby, and zero votes for Philip. It's up to the smooth movers now. Well, I haven't seen Leo in a long time before he came back for the play, and I have gotten to know Bobby more. So I vote for Leo. Hard to pick. But I'd say Bobby because his performance has gone lacking recently. Hey, shut up. That means Philip and Kira are safe at zero and one vote respectively, while Bobby and Leo are at two votes each. Uh-oh. Penny, you're the last one to vote. Who do you want to vote for, Bobby or Leo? To be honest, I feel the same way as Charlie, so I vote for Bobby. That means Leo is safe at two votes. And Bobby is eliminated at three. Sorry, Bobby, but you're cut from the competition. Phew, that was a close one. Whatever, I ended up becoming useless anyways. But Bobby, you did great. You followed the script for the talent show, answered some questions for us during the quiz, and tried to find a notebook at a different location. Yeah, you tried everything you can. If we think you're useless, why would we let you try to compete? You heard what they say. My performance has gone lacking. That's why I got into the bottom two with Peppa last time. I even tried to get in a faculty room. It wasn't meant as an offense, Bobby. Besides, you could get another chance when a rejoin happens. Plus, something else may happen once the show ends, which can also be your chance to improve. Shall I go ahead and call your parents? Just call my Uncle Ted. He loves to take me to places. Sure. Please wait at the inside near the school entrance. Just for your safety. 
And with that, all teams are now at 3. Okay students, you all can exit now. It's time to see which recommended character will join my show. Hello U10. All of you have been recommended and selected by the grand host to be voted for who to join the game. So, let's go reveal the votes. Okay then, it's best to go with the flow. Now, just so you all know, all of you at least got a vote. Well, that's good to know. Except for you Michael. You did not get any votes. I'm sorry. What? You can be serious. I'm so not proud of that. Akane. You only got two votes. Not enough. Oh, um, that's too bad I guess. Henry and Sarah got three votes each. Ah oh, man, and I was planning on not abusing my powers. I guess the debut is good enough for me. Gene, the yellow guy, and Jimmy got five votes each. Well then, no one gets burgers today. At least there's nothing dark about this, right? You think other characters are cooler than me, huh? Yeah. You viewers suck too. Now you three are left. Will it be Anya Forger, Vampire Ina Huntley, or Clarence Wendell? I had a feeling I'm near the top. I was added in a lot of cliches, especially those ridiculous grounded videos. Anya, you only got seven votes. Not enough. Ah. Uh. Now it is either Vampire Ina or Clarence to join the game. You can call me V for short, by the way. Okay V, anyways. Time to reveal the rest of the votes. The person coming in second at 10 votes is... Clarence. Sorry Clarence, but you come in second. You don't join the game. What? I lost to a vampire? That's insane. No way. I'm joining the game? That's right. With 15 votes. Congratulations V. You're joining the game. Welcome to Baldi's character elimination. That's wonderful. Oh. I'm so happy. My parents are going to be so proud of me. Well, congrats to you V, I guess. As for the rest of you, don't worry. All of you will get another chance. That is once this season is over. But for now, you may all exit the school. Thank you all for coming. Bobby, someone has come to pick you up. About time. There's my favorite little Bobbo. Wanna go get some powdered donuts? I sure do, Uncle Ted. Let's get out of here. Stay safe, you two. Security Guard Unit 20. I spotted the thing witnesses described around the back. I called it, but it faded away. What? Alright everyone, regardless of the photo and the incident, the police are patrolling outside around the school, hoping that weird thing doesn't cause any more trouble. Unfortunately, with Jeffy missing, no one knows where he went and how that thing caught and disappeared with him. Still, officers are looking for him as well. Jeffy may be a toxic person, but whatever that creature is doing to Jeffy, I hope he's okay. Yet he was stupid enough to try to rejoin by force and bump into that creature, getting himself captured in front of several witnesses. Moving that aside, we have someone joining the game. She got the most votes and is now an official contestant in my show. You can come in now. Hi, everyone. Whoa, is she a vampire? Wow, she's cute, and she looks friendly. Of course I'm a vampire, and don't worry, I am friendly. My name is Vampire Aina Huntley, but you can call me V. V? E? E? V? Nice to meet you, V. I'm Kira. A vampire is a student contestant. Very interesting. Now, for your next challenge. Each team must do a science fair project. V and I will rate your projects. Whoever makes the best project wins and will have V on your team. I guess I'll get to know you all later. While the students get ready, feel free to explore the school. But don't go outside. We have police patrolling, looking for the strange creature. Oh, and don't you hate sunlight? Oh, I've heard the news. I'm just glad no one else got hurt. And don't worry, my parents provide me with intense sunblock so that the sunlight won't hurt me. Oh, that's good. Here's your reimbursement for the donut. Thank you again for looking after Caillou Bordeaux. Take care. Caillou, you okay? I'm fine. I'm just petrified from what I saw at the front of here school, when Jeffy suddenly disappeared. Oh, yeah, I heard the news. Berda told me what she and you saw. I'm sorry you saw what happened. News has spreaded. And there was evidence of what the creature looked like. What kind of evidence? 
Burdeau mentioned about a photo an unnamed woman took, a photo of its interaction with Dora when she got eliminated. Wait, that thing met with Dora. That's what I was told. I've got to call her, no. Boom, hold up son. Oh, Brock, I you. What's up? Yes, I did beat that thing. Something about wanting to destroy the show, but I feel like you want something else instead. I got the same call from Pip earlier today. Tell you what, let's meet sometime tomorrow at the camp. My babysitter is planning on taking me there. Oh, you had born don't take you there. Cool. You don't mind coming back there, right? Uh-huh, great. I'll see you and Pippa then. Stay safe. Okay, if you're planning on doing this, then I'll take you to the cafe. I could go for some coffee myself. Bordeaux did tell me they sell great coffee. Sounds good, Dad. So, it was that cute little vampire who joined? Yes, she surpassed everyone else in a flash, despite Clarence and Anya coming up, but votes have gone slow. I see. So, while Bali is hosting her show and police are patrolling the school, what shall we do? Not sure. For now, I'm waiting for updates for anything else that weird thing may cause. Hey, everything will be okay. I'm sure Jeffy isn't harmed. I just know it. I hope you're right. I mean, it may not be as intense as the spore explosion at the old mall mansion. Everything will be okay. You know what? Looks like someone could use some more snuggles and kisses. Not just that thing at the school but also another odd thing happened today. Oh. Hello? Hi Yaz, darling. Say, daughter, what was the other weird thing you wanted to mention? I got an invitation to make a debut at some elimination show. I think it's called Stupid Character Elimination, hosted by some guy named, uh, Top Boy. Stupid Character Elimination? Sounds familiar. Say, Dakota. We saw you and Tiff next to another woman, who claims she took the picture and left the evidence in the school. Who was that woman? Her name. Time's up. Oh, everyone has finished in time. Perfect. Let's start with the Smooth Movers projects. Thank you, Baldy. You see, we crafted a small robot that reacts to music. Check it out. Okay, that's cute. Nice job, Smooth Movers. I agree. But I wish to see a bit of action at least. Up next is the Griff and Griefers. As you can see, Gumble and Charlie helped me build a small replica of a spaceship. Interesting how this is the third time I've done this. Cool ship, huh? Well, yes, since you've done this the last two times I hosted art classes. Still a good job, though. I never knew you hosted art classes. Interesting. Last but not least, the Kitty Kaboomers. With pleasure. So... Right there is a bamboo decoration, but it's not just an ordinary bamboo pot, it's a fountain, like how water spouts through bamboo holes. Check it out. Wow, that's incredible. I bet my parents would want something like that as a decoration for our bed and breakfast. Then it's settled. The Kitty Kaboomers make a comeback by winning the challenge as a prize. You get V to join your team. Awesome. This could give us a chance to get to know you more, V. And that also means the Smooth Movers and Griff and Griefers are up for elimination. Except Johnny and Charlie, since they have immunity. Viewers, vote for who to be eliminated in Google Forms. And also be sure to recommend a school or Baldi-related challenge in the comments. Next episode comes out when it does. Hey, I see you. I'm not surprised it got away again. Excuse me. I have come for some updates. I've been looking at the code for the show and universe and found out about the odd thing and Jiffy. Oh, you did? Then please tell me what you've learned. The invisible entity is apparently a corrupted file, and it's called file name 2, N, and L. Combine the N and L, and I called it null. And he can glitch, corrupt, and teleport. I see. So the thing, in which you call, null, was able to teleport not just itself, but I assume null teleported Jeffy away and glitched. Speaking of Jeffy, is he okay? 
The good news is that his status is alive and unharmed. As of now, Jeffy is asleep, but was glitched and corrupted to sleep eternally and was teleported to somewhere unknown. What I don't know is what Noel wants with Jeffy, but in order to bring Jeffy back, I'll need materials and alternate data, in which I have but not the materials. Okay. All is understood. I'm glad Jeffy isn't hurt or killed. Tell you what. While Baldy worries about his showing student contestants, let me go summon Dakota and Tiffany, and we'll continue things from there. At least Jacob's showing top boys show are safe from that entity. Oh, and if you don't mind, what is your name? The photo evidence you gave us was super helpful. Monica. Just Monica.